Well, welcome, Luke. Thank you for having me. Welcome, everyone, back to the Date Night Podcast here at First Draft. My name is Taylor. I'm your host this evening of the DNP. And this evening for our king, we have Luke, who I just introduced here. So hello, Luke. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So how are you feeling about tonight? Well, I'm excited. I think it's a great opportunity to meet a lot of cool people and some wonderful ladies, I'm sure. So, Okay, are you looking for love or are you looking for a second date? (laughs) You didn't ask that the first time. (laughs) I didn't. (laughs) Uh, Probably second date. Both, maybe. Okay, cool. Maybe love. Okay, we love it. We love the the enthusiasm. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown of how it's going to go tonight. So you are going to go on three mini speed dates, 10 to 15 minutes. Um with three ladies like i said so it's gonna go stephanie emily and hannah so again stephanie emily and then hannah and that is gonna go quick so during those uh, 10 15 minutes i encourage you to ask them questions what you want to know what's interesting to you what you think would be a good segue into a second date and then at the end i'll sit back with you and then we'll recap all of them and then you'll ask one of them on a second date Sounds good. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so. cool. And before we get started, why don't you just give a little bit of background about yourself, where you're from, how old you are? Yeah, so uh, I'm from Egan, Minnesota. Uh, I'm 22 years old. I just graduated from University of Wisconsin Madison. Uh oh, we got a, a badger. badger. Yeah, I should, I should really shield myself. Yeah, from saying we got that. a Packer fan too. Definitely not a Packer okay, fan. Definitely okay. a Vikes fan. At so. least we're good there. Skull Vikes, yeah. go wild. Good. Both both teams okay. die hard. So awesome. And any like characteristics in a girl that as a must for you uh confidence for sure okay good looks for sure okay um after that i guess we'll have to see i don't know okay so looks and <laughs> confidence is what luke is looking for this put, evening put so me on the spot there <laughs> it's okay it's okay i know it takes a little bit of a second to get used to so all right we're gonna bring the first girl on up and it will be stephanie okay sounds good all right, looking right. forward to meeting stephanie we'll bring her up Okay, here comes Stephanie, and then I'll introduce you as well, so. Sounds good. Oh, here she comes. (laughs) Testing, testing. Hello, Stephanie. Hi. Can you hear yourself okay? I can, can you hear me? I can hear you, can you hear her okay? I can hear her, yeah. Okay, so Stephanie, this is Luke. Luke, Stephanie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You go by Stephanie or Steph? Steph, usually. Usually? Okay. Steph. I'll call you you Steph. Okay. So I was told to bring an icebreaker. Okay. Um, So I brought these cards. All right. (laughs) Is this okay? Yeah, of course. So this is just level one of this game. We're not really strangers. I thought we could just each pick one card and ask each other questions. Okay. Um, I mean... If there's a second date, we could do level two then. <laughs> oh, wow. How many levels are there? That's a real question. Oh, there's three three levels. Oh, wow. Okay. So I can start. All right, you go for okay. it. Do I seem like a coffee or tea person, sweetened or unsweetened? You seem like a coffee with extra cream oh, and um, sugar. No? I would, well, I'd like sugar and <laughs> cream. Um, maybe tea, though. Tea, okay. <laughs> you like tea? I do. Okay. Yeah. Do you not like coffee? Screw I that like up. coffee. Um, just not as much. Okay. Okay, sweet tea or not sweet tea? Um, maybe sweet. I like it sweetened, not too sweet. Okay, so like when you when you go through the uh, Chick-fil-A drive through do you get oh. half and half or do you get like all sweet? I'd probably get all sweet. Okay, fair <laughs> okay. enough, fair enough. Okay, your turn to draw a card, okay. right? All right, my yes. turn, my turn. All right, think of your favorite childhood TV show of all time. On the count of three, say it out loud. One, two, three. Kids Sponge next Bob. door. <laughs> okay, wait, so you like SpongeBob. Yes. What do you like? Mine was Kids Next Door. I don't think I've... That's just the first thing that came to mind. Okay, I don't even I know what that is. I don't is. know if it is. Kids Next Door, there's like... I don't really want to explain it right now, but... <laughs> okay. What? There's like there's like five different guys or whatever, and they all like battle. I, I, I sound weird explaining it. Well, what, what like uh, TV channel was it on? Was it like Cartoon Network, Disney? Do you know what it is, Steph? No, it's car- Cartoon know. Network. SpongeBob is good, too. <laughs> no? Good that's okay. A, that's a classic. Can't okay, argue with so... That. Now that we've got the icebreaker out of the way, I'm going to ask right. you a couple questions, okay? So we do know, we heard a little bit about Luke. 
So, Luke, would you like to learn a little about about Steph? I would love to learn about Steph, yes. Okay, so Steph, why don't you tell us where you're from and what you do. Sure. So I'm from, well, right now I live northeast Minneapolis. Okay. I'm originally from Watkins, Minnesota. Watkins? So, yes, it's a really small town about an hour and a half from the cities. Okay. Um, and I went out to college at U of M Morris. Okay. Graduated in 2019 with a biology degree. There and you then go. for the last year and a half, I've been working as an EMT for M Health Fairview in the primary care clinic. Nice. And Soon I'll be starting grad school in the fall. Oh, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Grad school here too? Yep, at the U. Good. Um, Master's of Public Health in Epidemiology. Okay. So. I'm, a, I'm a badger, but I'll give you kudos <laughs> anyway. So. Yes, so I'm not sure. So you went to Madison. Um, are you? Did you recently graduate? Just graduated in December. Oh, so. Congratulations. I'm fresh, yeah. Thank you. And what did you study? I studied actually uh, real estate. Okay. So. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, okay. Commercial real estate. So, okay. Yeah. And do you work from home? I, I do not. I'm actually in the office every day. Okay. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. And, I have another question for you both. When was your first kiss? Uh, first kiss. I would. I want to say probably eighth grade. I don't know. I don't know the exact okay. date. Like okay. I'm not gonna say December. Okay, 19th. that's fine. That's fine. It might have been December 19th. So. Do you know, like, set the scene? Were you at the bus loop? Were you at a uh, neighbor's house? Like, um, first kiss was uh, New Year's Eve, actually. Okay, so I do know the date. <laughs> <laughs> so it was New Year's Eve. I don't know what year. Probably like 2014, 2012. I don't know. Okay. And uh, we're at some party or whatever at my buddy's house and uh there was this girl I, I hadn't really been talking to and uh anyway we just ended up ended up kissing with the ball drop so okay. that was kind of the it's kind of the, okay, I would the say classic that's a, that's a good first kiss right yeah it was yeah. it was uh it fit the fit the moment for sure but okay Steph when was your first so, kiss um well I'd say mine was kind of different I don't know I think it was uh Maybe when I was 18. Okay. So, I don't know. Boyfriend, no boyfriend? No, I just, no boyfriend. Um, I think it was out to dinner. and was at dinner? Like, were you, like, like, in was, the restaurant? No, after, after the restaurant. I think it was the first date. And Okay. Yeah. Good first kiss. Have things improved since your first kiss? <laughs> I would say so. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Was that first kiss after dinner, or was it like... Oh, it was after dinner. All right, uh, that's, that's good. <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about love languages. Do you guys know the five love languages? I do, yes. Luke doesn't look like <laughs> he's too confident. I confident. don't have them memorized. Okay, so the I will, I'll run them by you, okay? So physical touch, words of affirmation, gifts, quality time, or... Is it acts of service? Acts of service, yes. Physical touch and uh, wait, what was the what was the fourth one you mentioned? Okay, I'll do it again because I think I <laughs> forgot the order I did. So, physical touch, words of affirmation, gifts, quality time, and acts of service. Yeah, I would say physical touch and quality time are my two. Okay, so are you a hand holder? Maybe it depends. Oh, depends, depends on the situation, you know. Okay, so if we're going to a Twins game. If we're going to a Twins game. <laughs> um, if the Twins hit a walk off home run, I'm not holding your hands. But. <laughs> Sorry, Steph. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, hey, maybe walk in there or maybe walk back to the car afterwards. I might hold your hand. Okay. Steph, what's your love language? I would say acts of service. Um, I'd like someone to scratch my car off in the winter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I would do that. So, your least, like, the lowest love language for you, what's that? Um, like, one you don't care about. You want to go first or me? Oh, I, I, I'd say... Words of affirmation, maybe. Yeah. Okay. That was me, too. So you yeah. don't need to be told you're pretty? Well, I mean... <laughs> You'd have to be pretty to be told you're pretty. So. Oh, I'm sorry. That was all me. That was about me. I'm sorry. Okay, oh so n both of you don't like words of affirmation, then. So you don't want to... You don't need any, like, reassurance through words. It's more of, like... I mean, a little bit is nice, but... You need to overdo it. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, well, we are wrapping up the first date here. Okay. So I'm going to ask you both what went well and what didn't go so well with this first date. So one of you can go first or ladies first or Luke, do you want to go first? Sure. Yeah, I can go first. That's fine. Uh, and what do I start with? Do I start you with can, what went Whatever well? you want to do. All right. Uh, what didn't go well is me saying <laughs> the last comment I made because it was out of, con <laughs> out of context. I was talking about myself, not you. So... Okay, what uh, went well? What went well? Well, it seems like Steph's a great girl. Um, seems like we're on the same page with the least favorite words of, or uh, love, love language. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. Okay, Steph? I would say, um, I think it was easy conversation that went well. And then um, I just think, you know, it could have been a little longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would agree. They are pretty quick. But mm -hmm. we're going to say goodbye to you now, okay. Steph. But we'll bring you back up here at the end once he is finished with all of his dates. Oh, so, Thank you. Yes, of course. Great meeting you. Oh, nice to meet you, too. So, Luke, this is Emily. Emily. Nice to meet you. This Hi, is Emily. Luke. Nice to meet you as well. Okay. So do you have a little pickup line for us, Emily? Well, it's not so much a pickup line as an important question. So... This one is known to raise some heated debates, but if you're oh. eating a sandwich, like peanut butter and jelly, grilled I already, cheese. I already know what you're going for, but keep going. You will, you better have the right answer then. Are you cutting it in half or diagonal? All day diagonal. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> well, I was I concerned. I think you're a psycho if you cut it in half. Yeah, I mean, follow-up question to that. Have you watched How I Met Your Mother? I have not. Oh, dang it. Any Olive Theory fans out there when they hear this? <laughs> If you if you don't like, do you like olives? I do, yeah. Oh well, that's one one bad thing, one all good right, thing. We'll, right, we'll, we'll look past wait, it. I'm not picky why is it a bad thing? thing? So the olive theory in How I Met Your Mother is that you're only a compatible match if one of you likes olives and the other <gasps> doesn't. Damn. Oh, okay, yeah. so I don't know how that. But what, isn't that a good thing? I feel like well, but we both like them. I oh, like you them like too. olives? Yeah. Okay. So, but you haven't seen the show, so we'll we'll just it's yeah. a pass. What about like stuffed olives, like? At the okay. state fair, have you had them at the state fair? I've not had them. Are, do you go to the state fair? I do go to the state fair. What's your favorite thing? Uh, I have a good family friend that owns the uh, RC's barbecue. Oh, That's my I favorite. can't say I've had that before, but big fan of the deep fried cookie dough. I wasn't a fan of it at first, but it's a, it's a good one. So. Okay, I gotta yeah. check that out. <laughs> well, Sweet I, Martha's is kind of a classic oh, too. Oh, for huh? sure. You can't be but Minnesotan and not like it. You always buy a bucket, and you just end up with like five cookies and then you're just done okay you want to know a bad hack that i do i don't actually buy the sweet marthas i just pick them off the ground <laughs> same no I'm kidding. oh my god I'm kidding. so um you just walk up to like a nice looking family that has like a big old bucket and kids that they don't want to give the sugar to and then you say hey like can i just can i pay you like a dollar for one of those cookies and they're like oh my god of course just take one just take one <laughs> that's so, actually genius yeah try it out it next is. time all right well <laughs> yeah save 15 dollars on cookies i'm not gonna eat so i mean yeah it's uh it, stuff adds up at the state fair that's for sure yeah. i'll save any beer money that i can <laughs> seriously yeah. okay so i have a question for both of you what is the worst song to make out to um, Emily's first. I'm going to preface by saying sorry for listening, Dad. And second, I'm going to go with the chicken dance. Oh, that's the a good. chicken dance. That's a great. Yeah. You know, like, I don't want to yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you want me to do it, too? Yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you got an answer? Or you yeah, you got to yeah, go. Yeah, well, I'm thinking. Uh, my first thing that pops in my head, but I kind of feel bad shaming them. Rockstar by Nickelback. Okay. But that's, I actually like that song, so I can't even... I feel like Nickelback... I'm not even going to say it. This is going to go live. I think I'm, you got to say it. No. You, you, can always, you can always cut it out. So. I feel like yeah, Nickelback... Yeah, can always cut it out. <laughs> Nickelback gets really bad shade, and it's not... I mean, like, I'm not a fan. I'm not paying money to go to their concert. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been to, I've been to two concerts, and they've both been Nickelback. Please don't not, make it. Not intentionally. No, no. One of them was at the State Fair. You've so there's only my... been to two concerts yeah, in your life. Yeah, I'm missing out. Well, clearly. that's super ironic because my other icebreaker was what was the last concert you went to before COVID? Nickelback. Oh, jeez. On my birthday. Oh, jeez. That's... I'm... All right. Well, we'll let that one slide. <laughs> okay. So, Emily, do you know what my next question is going to be? Uh, something either love language or horoscope related. It's going to be love language. Okay. Love language. Again. 
Okay, get buckle up, buddy. That we gotta ask him what I'm asking every date. Fair enough. So, are we supposed to say what our love language is? Do you need me to repeat them for you? Because Luke over here didn't know what the five. Well, I mean, I memorized Luke. my answer, but yeah, okay. Do you want me um, to repeat them? You you could repeat them if you wanted to. But, um, <laughs> I think I can rattle them yeah, off. No, I can't rattle them off. Acts of service, words of affirmation, physical touch, um, some like writing things down, and then quality time. I didn't hear writing things down the first no, time. No, but. no, what's the other? What am I? What am I missing? Okay, so gifts, actors, gifts, gifts. Okay, that's, that's uh, words of affirmation and writing things down. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of lights in my face. Yes, yes. All right, so mine. Okay, my favorite physical touch. Okay, and then is it top two? I forgot. Yeah, yeah. top yeah. two. Uh, physical touch and. Uh, that's fine. You can just do one. Physical um, touch. He's not a really big hold hand guy, though. Me either. Well, hold hand well, girl, obviously. Well, yeah. Um, are you a big hold hand guy? No, no. I mean, oh, oh my gosh. Do you want to like hold said, hands right now? Like I said last time, I'm not going <laughs> to. I think I'm making it. him nervous. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> uh, all right. I got, I got a question for you. Okay. What's so that? I have two truths and a lie. You played this game? Do I want to hear him? No, I've never played two truths in a lie. Never. Never. Okay, so my first, or I'll just rattle them off. I hate mayo. I know how to drive a tractor. And I've met Guy Fieri. Uh, I'm going to say you have not met Guy Fieri. That is the lie. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's the one Easy. about mayo? I hate mayo. Oh, me it's too. It's nasty. I would agree. Mayo is kind of nasty. Okay, mayo on things, nasty. Mayo in things, can deal with. And then I also can drive a tractor. Just had to flex that. That's that's awesome. Where did you <laughs> grow up? Um, I grew up on a farm in Dayton, Minnesota. Oh, wow. That's not that far. Mm -mm. You ride horses too? I had a horse, or as my dad calls it, a hay burner, but not anymore. Same I'm not horse, a crazy, ride a cowboy. I'm not, I'm not a crazy horse girl, I promise. <laughs> I was going to say something like yeah, that. Yeah, everyone I, goes there. Everyone goes there. Oh. I forgot my cowboy boots tonight, but... Yeah, well, should have okay. brought the hat, too. Yeah. I forgot. Luke, where did you grow up again? Egan, Minnesota. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Not quite Dayton, but... <laughs> so, and East were you side. in a fraternity at Wisconsin? I was not, no. Okay. You're not a frat bro. Do I seem like one? Kind of. Kind of. I was in a sorority, if that makes it better. Yeah. Okay. Nothing against, no shade against frat boys. Yeah. Where did you go to, where did you go to cool. school? Uh, Wisconsin, Madison. Oh, see, I'm, I'm a, a gopher, so this might be problematic. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Who's more of a, like, diehard fan of their college? I mean, I, honestly, sorry for all the gophers listening. If the Badgers are oh, playing... Oh, let's go. If the Badgers are playing not the gophers, I'll cheer for them. But my brother went there, so... Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I probably knew your brother. Best buddies. <laughs> He's like 28, so probably not. Maybe. I also, that brings up an important question. You're pretty young, aren't you? Young gun. How old are you? Yes. Old enough to drink, I hope. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Girl, I'm not gonna I tell you. love this. I'm going to guess 22. I'm going to guess you're right. I'm going to guess I saw that on your bio on the Instagram <laughs> page, so... Damn it. <laughs> but I am 24 and a half, if that makes you feel cool that you're on a, a date half. with an older woman. Well, technically, I'm 22 and like three quarters, so. Okay, well, we'll meet in the middle then. That's All right, fine. Okay. fair enough. I have another question. What's a low key turn off? Like some, if somebody does this, yeah. like, oh, no, nope, can't, can't do it. A hmm. low key turn off? What'd yeah. that be? Okay. Oh, oh, I got a good one. I got a good one. Um, rude to waiters or waitresses mm. at restaurants. Mm. Like, that, that is a good one. Um, can't get past that. If you've ever played Red Flag or Deal Breaker, like my yep. good friend Sid on the on Straight Handed podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah. Deal Breaker. Okay. Deal Breaker. Um, low key turn off. It could be high key too. Yeah. High key turn off. Uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. Oh, okay. no, that's all right. Do you have like a. Uh, sorry if I'm going to trigger warning here but uh <laughs> if like you have an ex that did something and you're like oh i can't stand it like that usually gets somebody like selfies i feel like I an know. easy one would be selfies. like never dating somebody like another one for me is i could never date someone with the same name as my ex 
and never date someone with my dad's name. All right, that's a good one. But so like you're in the you clear, Luke. You're in like the clear. You gave me something. You gave me something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh, Which one? She rattled off a few. Which one's your? I think you said I, both. I can never, never date my ex's name. Same same name as my ex. Okay. That would be really hard. That would be really hard. But I'm kind of surprised. You're, like, open to, like, all... Well, I just, I'm not like, I'm thinking about the positives, not the negatives, oh, you know? Oh, positive mm. poly Okay, over so what's here. a positive, yeah. like, what's something that they have to have? I, saw, I see what you did there. Oh. Um, well, I said this early, com- confidence is a yeah. is a basic answer. Yeah, for sure. Um, But can you have a conversation? Mm, you know? I don't know, can I? <laughs> you can, yes. <laughs> You yeah, can. Can, can you make it flow? Does it, or do yeah. I have to try? I, I mean, you got to do three of these. I just am up here for 15 minutes. You're, I, I'm impressed. Oh, thanks. I'm impressed. Yeah, you don't seem nervous at all. Like you're. Ah, uh, well, it's all on the inside. Yeah. Well, okay. I will say, it's. Doesn't it feel like it's just us three right now, though? It does. Like, it does. It's not. It is just us three. It is just us. Yeah. Three, I really. mean. There's nobody around us. No, not nobody. a table of eight of my closest friends. Even clapping, either. clapping yeah. on the way out. They yeah. did cheer for me. Yeah, you definitely brought an audience <laughs> too. So that okay, that's another I, question. Why did you both want to be on this? I got nominated by my friend. I don't know. I don't know. How I wound up on this. I was just following the page, and then they just reach out to me. So oh, just, there you go. Um, I, I think too. I mean, I feel like a lot of single viewers or single people in the crowd can relate it's not um the dating scene during a global pandemic not very easy no. so That's you know true. sometimes a little forced magic has to happen yeah, yeah. <laughs> so forced when, magic. when was your both of your last relationships like how long ago was it uh a long time ago can i give that answer yeah okay a long time ago mine was uh may of last year Oh, so, so you have not been on the market for very long. Not on the market very New long. New real estate so over you, here. Yeah. Going fast. <laughs> and, <laughs> wow. And you were like, so you broke up during the pandemic then, right? Yeah, my ass got, my ass got dumped. I'm just going to say it. Okay, can oh, I just mention that I feel like this pandemic has absolutely axed so many relationships. Like, yeah. I know so many people. Granted, I wasn't in one, so I can't like... <laughs> say how i would have yeah but like i don't know you can you can (laughs) i just feel like nobody made it through uh, with relationships you either did a glow up or a glow down yeah in the last year i I would say (laughs) gyms were closed for a long time so yeah that's true that's true okay well my timer went off so that means we are wrapping up our date here already Already? which was pretty quick wasn't it so okay let's go what went well and what didn't go so well you want to go first? You want I'll me to? I'll go first. Conversation just flowed from the minute you sat down. So that, that was what went well. Uh, what went bad is me not think of an answer and like that layup of a question. So Yeah, that was kind of a little yeah. volley for the spike. But so okay. I uh, I slipped on the on the court or uh, something. You know, but. that's all right. Um, what went well? Yeah, I think banter was good. There was a good back and forth. Mm-hmm. Good, yeah. good energy Just call here. It banter. Also, we talked about um, <laughs> about state fair food. So state fair. any conversation that steers in that direction, you can't go wrong. Yep. Um, what didn't go well? I don't think so. Well, my friends are gonna go. Whoa! Why'd you say that? But it's never easy to go on like a first date with someone when like literally nine of your friends are sitting at the table. Yeah. So, that's good though, because they can judge as well. Yeah, so. that's true. Yep. They probably are. I'm just well, saying. Well, you can judge a lot just by like body language. <laughs> like, Thanks for coming, guys. Love you. <laughs> they're sitting over there with their phones. Shout out to Emma's friends. Yeah. They're great. I wish they all could see it, but I'm okay. nominating you for this. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to have to say goodbye to you right now, Emily, but we will bring you back up after the last date. All right. right. Sounds good. Nice to meet you as well, Emily. We are bringing up our third and final date. Hello, Miss Hannah. Welcome, Hannah. Hello. Hello. Come take a seat. Welcome to the third and final date. Hannah, this is Luke. Luke, this is Hannah. Nice Hello, to meet you, Luke. Hannah. It's nice to meet you. Yep. How are you feeling, Hannah? I'm feeling good. Good. Yeah, yeah you seem very calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, this, is, this will be fun. So I have a little bit of a backstory on Hannah. I can kind of attest to why you're calm, cool, and collected. Okay. 
Hannah is a Timberwolves dancer. So you're used to dancing in front of 30,000 people like three times a week, right? That's correct, yes. So adrenaline doesn't really... Not not for that situation, okay. but maybe for situations like this, it's a little bit higher. I don't okay. know. We'll see. Really, we'll really? see what kind of questions we get. To. Okay. We'll have it flow. We'll have it flow. Okay. Well, before we start, why don't you... Yes. So speaking of, you know, my experience on the NBA, yep. in the NBA... Um, you know, hair flips, let's see if I can get it, are pretty important. Okay. <laughs> you killed that one. So, but I know in hockey, the hair game is important too. That's true. So, Luke, my question for you is, can I see your best hair flip? Oh, let's go. I don't know if I can do oh, okay. it. okay. I don't That was very okay. aggressive. <laughs> okay. Don't, but, like, throw out your neck. Yeah, I almost just did. Uh, <laughs> We gotta stop. We gotta might, <laughs> might have to ice that tomorrow morning. Maybe, maybe. I'll try to make that natural, but yeah. <laughs> okay, well that's another good question. Enough. It's you, not long enough. We do you play I, I hockey? Mullet. I played. I played in high school. Played uh, club hockey in college, okay. um, in Wisconsin. But so, what is your opinion on the movie Miracle? <laughs> Love the Miracle. Um, I actually wish I had, had a speech whistle. memorized. Oh, you do. Yeah, I actually got a. Uh, 100% on a speech in college for having that memorized and doing okay. it in front of 100 people. So. What is your favorite part of that speech? Favorite part is, uh, well, it depends. When I actually performed the speech in class, it was when like I went up to this random girl in the front row and like in the movie, her Brooks walks in the locker room and he taps the girl on the shoulder and I was just being, just being candid and yeah. I just walked in the room and I just tapped this girl on the shoulder and she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, just went into the speech. Did that freak you out though? Like, did that ruin your no, nerves? No, because everybody was laughing. Like, okay, I, th- I okay, thought it was hilarious okay. too, because it was just, it was just it in was the what moment. It is. Yeah, yeah, in the moment, totally in the moment. I was just trying to get a good grade, you know. And okay, did you get a good grade though? I did. It got a hundred percent. So look at that. Okay. So what are you graded on though? If it's not your speech, just like your delivery, it was speech. You had execution. To, it was, uh, you had to have the entire thing memorized. So okay, how my, long is that long, speech? Not that long. It's like two minutes. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Okay. So we'll start off with kind of a question similar to that, but what was (laughs) your dream job as a kid? Oh, that's tough. Like, do you remember in preschool graduation, they're like, she wants to be a blank when she grows up. I don't know if your preschool did that, but. I guess mine didn't. So I don't have a question or I don't have an answer right off the bat, but I would say my Hannah in preschool would probably be like, I want to be a swim instructor that goes to the moon and just like does a ton of things. But if I were to answer that question now, I'd probably say I I don't want to work. That's the dream job is to not work. Just retire. I want to be retired. Yes. That's not a bad answer. No. So that's my answer. Uh, Mine was always growing up. Mine was always a pro football running back. But I realized just that I was was not going to make it. You're pretty um, tall, though. Yeah, were you that, taller? That's exactly it. So, were like, you when you were young? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, um, any team and like you wanted to be on? Well, I always wanted to be the Vikes, but you know, I had the Brett Favre jersey hanging up in the uh, in the room. Um, but I in third or third or fourth grade, I was on the Badgers, and I was a running back, and I did I did well. I scored 18 touchdowns in which, one game. No, I wish in one game. No, in the, in the ten game season, and I was like, I'm going to the NFL. And my mom was like, You're going to the NFL. And then you now, were set. look I'm at me. Going. Look at me now. Not, not in the in NFL. Not in the <laughs> NFL. <laughs> but you sure thought you would be, yeah. and so did your mom. Yeah, that's right. Shout out to Luke's mom. <laughs> Shout out to Luke's mom. Shout out my okay, mom. Okay, so we're gonna um, also ask this question again. Luke, would you like to take it away? Okay, I'm just gonna ask you the question because okay. I know it um, <laughs> okay. out of the five love languages which I just learned about tonight yep what are your two favorite I love this question firm believer in love languages okay also for, okay I will answer the question but I just want to give a little background sure, on it sure firm believer that you need to take this quiz like every six months you know, it's like a checkup. It changes? Yes. Okay. I like that. Because I think it I think it depends on what you're getting, what you're not getting, you know? So okay, now to actually answer the question. Um, right now, <laughs> my two favorites are um, acts of service and words of affirmation. Okay. 
Okay, fair enough. So what like what does that involve? That's my question. So for for, for acts of service, yep. it would be like cooking dinner for me. Okay, I'm or, good at that. Or like it would be, you know, uh, I park in a garage, but like if I were to leave my car out, like if Pulling someone were to, you know, just like shovel it off you know when it snows like that would That's be great second time i've heard that tonight yeah it's i mean we, we, we are in minnesota so <laughs> girls hate probably, it yeah, girls hate shoveling their car yeah. or like scraping it off yeah so shout out all guys do it for your girlfriend do it for your wife that's right that's right do it for life that's a good one um no and then uh for words of affirmation i just need like a pat on the back good job hannah you're doing great hannah yes Yes, that's all I need. Okay, so. I actually haven't heard that. So more just like a validation of yeah. words of affirmation, mm-hmm. not like a, I associate words of affirmation with, you look so pretty. Oh, that right. looks really yeah. good on I you. Mean, for sure, that's totally valid. Um, but I think, you know, like you have to be able to like support your partner. You have to be able to tell them when they're doing a good job and consequently like when they're not doing a good job either. Um, so yeah, that's I, my... So I view that, which... Uh, on the previous two uh, dates, I've mm-hmm. said that words of affirmation are my least favorite. And the reason is because I've always associated words of affirmation as the same as like, oh, you're just so gorgeous or uh-huh. you know, so whatever. Like compliment just like, based. But like, yeah, compliment based and just like artificial. To okay. me, that's like, to me, a lot of that stuff is artificial unless you actually mean it, unless okay. you actually say it in a certain situation. Okay. Um, which it sounds like it's different because your words of affirmation are more like, well, hey, what are you actually doing right? You know, right. it's more like it's more like a positive reinforcement yes. than it is yes. words of affirmation. I so maybe agree. we should right. change the love languages to instead of words of affirmation, positive words of encouragement, negative en- en- reinforcement. Oh, that's yeah, pretty maybe. good. Yeah, words of Something encouragement. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Like okay. That. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I'm, I'm on board with that. What's and your? I, oh, I know what your love languages are, but <laughs> yeah, we should gotta, tell Hannah. You got to repeat what's, it. Okay. What's the? It's the fourth. I know it's the fourth one. I forgot the what it is. Physical touch. No. Well, that's the that's the first one. So okay, the the it's the physical five? touch. Yeah, yeah. You, I'll yeah. I'll lay them out. Words of affirmation. Okay. Quality time. Yep. Physical touch. Yep. Did I already say words of affirmation? Yep. Uh, acts of service. Acts of service. So. It, and then yes. I'm missing. Yes. Yeah. So you're Gift already giving. Yeah. So I'm two and three. Physical physical touch and. Uh, um, not gift giving. Not gift giving. What was the th- what was the second one you said or third one? Uh, you said physical touch and then um, acts of service. No, uh, quality time. Quality, quality time. time. Yeah, okay. big on quality time. Okay, cool. So, yeah. okay, and quality time is that just like, do you want to sit and do nothing or do you want to no. go do something? So yeah, and not to talk about myself too much, but I I. <laughs> it's I a show about you, I so it's okay. I can't. <laughs> fair, fair enough. I can't sit still usually. Okay. So to me, quality time is whatever you know we like doing. It's doing that together and, okay. it's, and knowing you know we're enjoying it. Okay. Right. And if there's a time where it's 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 like a burden to whatever it is, walk the dog or whatever it is, uh-huh. then we shouldn't be doing it. We should be doing something else that we actually both enjoy. Okay. And if that's the case, then yeah. Nice. That's, that's, yeah. Well, I hope that after today you feel like you really have a good understanding of. <laughs> The five love language. Yeah, you should. The five love languages. I have memorized now. Yeah. You'll never forget them after this night. No, but I also think they're pretty important. But to go off of that, Hannah, you probably have a good opinion of this. Do you think you like, does your love language reflect how you give love or how you like to receive love? Or do you think that's different? Another really good question. Okay, so again, this is just kind of my opinion, but I feel like a lot of people get this wrong. So, um, the love language okay i gotta buckle this up. is like one of the yeah buckle up deep, for this one deep. okay so the thing about love languages is that they only really work when your partner gives you what your love language is so if you said that your love language is quality time and physical touch then your partner needs to give you quality time and physical touch right so it always has to be you doing the act that that it's their love language. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. So because here's here's another issue about 
clearly I'm really passionate about that's, that's about okay that I, like, drill down. I like this though because I think it's important for yes. people to know especially well, in the dating world correct so um, your partner will feel more loved obviously when they get what, what their love languages are you know but a lot of times like relationships can go bad when like your partner is giving you their love language because you may not appreciate it that right. much you know right. So, and then, okay. So it's gotta be reciprocal love languages. Yes. Right. So yep. it would be like, okay, let me, let me give you a, yeah. an example. Would, yes. What is your favorite food? Uh, off the, off the top of my head, steak. Steak. But okay. I feel like that's a bad answer. Okay. I'm just going to say my favorite food is pizza. Okay. So with this whole idea of love languages, I like that. I like that. you have to think about like, if I'm making dinner, I'm going to make steak for you. If you're making dinner, you got to make pizza for me. All right. Because I like pizza and you like steak. Challenge accepted. Ooh, That's what it is. Yes. Because long story short, like you like steak, but she's not going to enjoy it as much as you will. Yes. Because she likes pizza. Sorry. What, what kind of pizza is the real question? But yeah, let's let's go on the pizza tangent now. Because oh, <laughs> um, Hannah and I are like drooling and ghouling over this. I like waiting for talk. pineapple on pizza. Well, Stank. yeah, everybody has a really strong opinion on that. I don't really have... I've actually never had pineapples on pizza. The, okay, the re- the real answer for me is it depends on the on the pizza, you know. Yeah, I w- I'm a really I'm a I'm a margarita pizza girl. Margarita. Don't get me fired up. I think pineapple belongs on pe- pizza. So it does belong or it doesn't. It does it does? I'll have to try it. I don't have it. Like I said, I don't have a strong opinion yeah. on it. So yeah. Don't tell Andrew. The producer does not believe that. So he's gonna probably edit that out just because people, I said that. So <laughs> people definitely throw hands over that kind of thing. Yes. Okay. So what's your favorite pizza place in the cities? Pizza place in the cities. To be honest, I haven't been here long. Um, I mean, I grew up in Egan, went okay. to school in Wisconsin, okay. graduated in December, and I have not been to a bunch of pizza places. Okay, so you should probably go to Black Sheep. Yeah, that's okay, what Black that's, Sheep. Black Sheep pizza is really good. Um, pizza Luce. I don't know. Pizza I Luce think that's pretty good. Underrated. Yeah. yeah, you can get some some funky things at Pizza Luce. Like they're they're the like. I think they have a mashed potato pizza. They or do. Something like that. Again, a never potato, tried it, but baked potato pizza, I think, is what it is. Yeah. It's good though. It's good. That'll be something that I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Okay. I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay, so I guess you haven't been into the city. So you did just graduate no, I have. too, so Yeah, I mean I live downtown east, but just working, you know. Okay, so, so let's talk about what you graduated with. I uh, graduated with a degree in real estate. Okay. And on that same note, what is your opinion on selling sunsets? It's a show on Netflix. Oh, okay. So I've heard of this multiple times. Okay. So I am not, just to clarify, I am not a residential real oh. estate salesperson. So I, I sell commercial. Okay. So um, so this is an invalid question. And actually, it's kind of interesting. So my, my partner has actually sourced the acquisition. Okay. Of There's five Duffy properties around here. There's like one right next door, and this is getting too technical. But they actually source the acquisition. Those okay. Properties. Okay. So we work with commercial. Um, okay. But Selling Sunset, I've heard it's fantastic. I've heard it's a drama. Um, Looks like you got to watch LA, it. LA, right? It's LA yeah, based. Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. California. So West Coast. Mm-hmm. I've heard it's fantastic, and I've heard it's just full, like totally entertaining. Yeah. Okay, um, so my wrist is buzzing, which means our date has wrapped up. So, damn. what went well and what didn't go well? You can take it away. All right, so uh, Hannah, I thought she did a great job uh, pointing out the fact that the word or the uh, five love languages are important, and then addressing the fact that you know you need to know your partner's love languages, which I I agree with. Um, what didn't go well is this damn light in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hannah. Um, I would say that I think the conversation flowed really well, and it was really exciting to hear about your miracle <laughs> reenactment speech. Um, and I can do it for you. Yeah, I, I would definitely be interested in seeing that. What, Great moments. What What didn't go well is the fact you don't know any good pizza places. Because I like pizza and you like steak. Well, I like pizza too, but okay. Well, you'll have to figure out. You'll have to figure out some good pizza places. That's where you got to compensate for my lack of 
Oh, it's in a hutch. Okay. <laughs> well, well, I see what you did there. Good job. Very well, nice. Very nice. Okay, well, great job, you two. Hannah, we're going to say goodbye to you for now. Okay. But we're going to bring you back up here pretty shortly because you are the final date of the evening. So we'll bring you back up once he makes his decision. All right. So. Great meeting you. Yes, nice meeting you. Luke, I still want to call you Cole this whole time. I must look like a Cole. You I don't really know what it is. You really are just killing me with the Cole vibes. <laughs> I don't know why. but Okay, so Luke, you've made it through three dates. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Are you tired? Cheeks sore a little bit from smiling? My cheeks might be sore from being red, but oh. and smiling. Okay. Both They're not, they don't look red. Do they not? Oh, well, maybe, maybe on that maybe side. Maybe a little bit. Just on, well, we'll blame the light. We'll blame the light. Yeah, we'll blame it's the, the light. light. It's the light. Okay, Definitely. so... What we'll do is we're going to unpack each date. Okay. And then we're going to bring up the ladies after you make your decision. And you'll ask one of them on a second date live. And then hopefully they say yes. So. Hopefully. Let's start with Steph. Okay. So what did you get right away with Steph? She was the first one. She kicked off the evening. She brought up her cards, which she was very prepared. I was not expecting that. Which, yeah, I, I love the cards. I thought it was a great mm-hmm. icebreaker. Um, I thought the question polling was hilarious. Um, that we got to ask each other a question. Yeah, right I like that. Bat. I um, like that too. Very structured, but it was good. So. Okay. But nothing um, nothing beyond, like, did you get any, like, I want to go on a second date kind of vibe with her? I wanted to keep talking to her. Was it, like, friend chemistry or... I mean, I think there's a little mix of both. Okay. Um, I think it leaned probably more towards, yeah, I'd hang out with her at a bar. Okay. Kind of chemistry. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Did it feel like it went fast? Were you the most nervous for that one? Well, I would say I was just uh, least experienced for that one. Okay. Uh, which is something to be said yeah. about that, too. Cause right. Because I just she, didn't, didn't know what to expect going right. into it. Neither right. did she. So we, you know. Neither did I. First time. <laughs> that was when we were still kind of getting all tech stuff figured out, too. So, okay. Then we had Emily. Yep. Emily was a little bit more spitfirey. She came in hot. She was definitely going back and forth bantering with you. Bantering. She yes. called it bantering. That's right. Yes. Yep. So what are your thoughts on Emily? Emily, we had a great conversation. Um, it flowed from, and I told her this, it flowed from the first second she sat down. Um, so it was, it was really good. I, I love the state fair question yeah. and uh, the cookie tricks. It seemed like she had a lot of tricks up her sleeve, so I liked it. I Yeah. She was like able to just generate conversations super organically which was it's very obvious from my end because i didn't have to talk very much at all (laughs) so i felt like it was just me listening to you too just being just being natural yeah Yeah. did you think it felt like that too yeah it it felt natural for sure okay cool and then we had hannah yeah hannah closed this out so hannah closed it yeah hannah was very calm cool collected and poised and i told her that right away the three c's yeah so what did you think about hannah well i felt like hannah and i had a good conversation um i felt like we clicked i felt like there was a lot of uh we might have dove a little deeper into some of the conversations yeah um but yeah i thought it was a really good conversation do you think you went a little deeper in conversation because you were the most warmed up there could be some of that definitely Okay. Um, but I think it was the questions that were asked too, and the kind of the uh, buttons that were pressed. Okay. Know. So, which one did you feel the most comfortable in? I would say I would say it probably felt most comfortable with Emily. Immediately okay. Sitting down. Okay. Yep. And then, did you think was that like friend vibe, or was that more like a second date vibe? No comment. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I guess now that we've gone over all three, do you know who you're gonna pick? for your second date? I think I do, yeah. Okay, so should we bring them up here and then you'll... Let's bring them up. Okay, awesome. So we're <laughs> going to bring them all up here and then they're going to be lined up here and then you can kind of just go from the beginning and say what went well with the evening and then if you want to say something about each of them, you certainly can and then you'll ask one on a second date. All right, sounds good. Okay. All right. Welcome back, ladies. Thanks for coming back up here. So you have all finished your dates and Luke has gone on speed dates with all three of you. So I'm going to take it away and give it, or I'm going to let Luke take it away and go from there. Stephanie, Emily, and Hannah, you guys all did great. Uh, I enjoyed Luke, every conversation. You got to talk a little louder. A little louder? Into them so they can hear. Louder for them. All right. Uh, 
let me redo that. Stephanie, Emily, and Hannah, you guys all did great. I loved every conversation, really. Um, enjoyed them all. And uh, I think who I'm going to ask on the next date is going to be Hannah. Hannah, will you go on the next date? Yeah, you get it if you want. So, Hannah, it looks will you like go on some... a second date with Luke? Sure. It all looks right. like uh, someone wants to find the best pizza places. <laughs> yeah, I think so. In Minneapolis? I think I have to. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming tonight. I can't wait to hear how your second date goes. Next week, you will see... We'll be right back here at First Draft at 7. All right. All right. Have Sounds a great good. Week, guys. Thanks. also have to ask why did you guys want to come on this podcast it's a great question um to be the queen obviously yeah <laughs> <laughs> bow down bow down